cultural economy includes the arts, the cultural industries, the creative industries. It's a relatively new term, meaning the complicated ecology where culture and business, creativity and the economy meet. Cultural economy is important because it asks the hard questions. We've had global city branding, we've had the creative industries, all promising a brave new world. We ask some of the difficult questions around that. Are price rises in cities driving creatives out of cities? What happens to the communities who've been subject to regeneration? How are we going to make these things sustainable? What happens to those who work with their hands, the handicraft, the artists? If we're going to have a sustainable, meaningful cultural economy, what kind of things do we need to do? Our intention is to use the expertise right here on our doorstep. We've got Marcus Westbury, who single-handedly transformed the CBD of Newcastle into a vibrant artistic space. We knew Newcastle started in, back in 2008 and basically you know, we'd sort of seen that there was a problem with a lot of empty spaces in the city of Newcastle. There's 150 empty buildings in the two main streets. And what we wanted to do was find a way to link that problem with uh, an opportunity, which is there's a lot of small-scale creative enterprises in Newcastle looking for space to get started. And, and then over the last what, five years, we've done nearly 130 projects, 55 buildings cleaned up in the city, um, and lots of projects, designers, filmmakers, uh, fashion designers, uh, visual artists, media makers have got to start doing what they do, and it's contributed to life and energy coming back to the city. We've got people in planning, we've got people in architecture, we've got people who are trying to reinvent the museum sector for the contemporary world. So we've got a whole range of strong, active, practical people wanting to come in and share their knowledge with you. But we're very aware that the cultural economy is a global phenomenon. It's taking off not just in Europe and North America, it's taking off in Africa, in the Middle East, and of course in the new economies of East Asia. On our programme we have Shanghai City Lab, and for two weeks, you immerse yourself in one of the world's global metropolises to find out what's going on under the surface. Who's making the culture? Who's managing it? How do they do it? How do they work in that city? Who are the communities that they engage with? We're going to allow you to drill down into the specifics of your particular area and we're going to help you really gain a knowledge of what you need to do when you leave this course to get a career in that sector.